A Port Aransas woman made a rare discovery while walking along the beach last month. She found a marine creature that's not normally found on area beaches. Michaela Chavez, our newest member of our Chris 6 News family, has the story. When you're walking down the beach, you might expect to find something like seashells. But that wasn't the case for one local resident here at Market 59. We saw this huge eel. And coming from Iowa, I thought, I was, you know, this is stuff nightmares are made out of. Michelle Neelands found this four foot king snake eel last month. These eels are rare and only found in the Gulf of Mexico. We find a lot of the smaller eels, uh, like shrimp eels, things like that. People use those for fishing. Uh, but these large eels, uh, there's not very many species that get that large. And then, so whenever you find them washed up dead, it's like, okay, what is this thing, you know? <laughs> Jace Tunnell with the UT Marine Science Institute also found this eel during his weekly beach survey. He tells us that in his six years of surveying for stranded and endangered species, this is the second time he's come across something this peculiar. It would not surprise me at all that if we found more of them uh, washing up in the, in the future. And, you know, the last one I found was probably three or four years ago. And so, you know, maybe in three or four years we'll find another one washing up. The next time researchers stumble across an eel this large, they plan on freezing it and handing it off to the University of Texas Fisheries Department, where it will be preserved and saved for research. There's a lot that we don't know about the Gulf of Mexico and what's in the ocean. And so I think the more we're able to learn about it, the more we're able to care about it, and the more that uh, people will want to conserve it and protect it. So what should you do if you find a live king eel? I'm not sure what I would have done if it was still breathing. Probably my brain would have told me to put it back in, but I'm not sure I would have touched a four-foot <laughs> surface. And good thing she didn't. If you happen to find something similar on your stroll along the beach, Tunnel recommends taking photos and contacting the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Reporting from Port Aransas, Michaela Chavez, Chris 6 News. A lot of people would have run away, right? Okay, Michaela.